Hey guys, it's Tech Grand here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to clip your stream or video with OBS Studio so that way you can actually use the footage that you clipped for maybe a YouTube short or YouTube video, and that way you can actually be really flexible what you want to do with it. Now, how I use this for myself is that I actually stream to Twitch and want to clip my footage for making my gaming content on YouTube. But I've noticed a problem with myself when I actually start recording and gaming is that it's not the impact of performance on the PC, it's actually how I think while I game because for some reason when I record in game, I don't play as good so not being able to record means I lose a quality footage so how I prevent this is that I actually have replay buffer going on in the background so I have a really good game I can clip that last 20 minutes and then use that for YouTube so I want to show you guys on how to set this up for yourself so let's get right into it so what you're gonna do with OBS studio is go into your settings first to get access to the replay buffer feature and then from your actual settings you're gonna go from general to output and before you do anything make sure your output mode is from simple to advance. Now, another thing you will need to do is mess with recording settings because it's gonna clip the footage from OBS, but it's gonna use the recording settings to actually get the quality of footage that you actually want. So you will need to make sure to customize this to however you like. I do have a full video on the best recording settings for OBS Studio. I will have that link down below. I recommend you check out that video on it. But for me personally, I just use MKV, the NVIDIA encoder, and then I use uh, QCP, which makes it so the quality of footage looks really good, but the size of the file is pretty big. So I don't really recommend this, but copy it if you want to. Now, anytime you do clip a footage from OBS Studio, it will actually go to the same file location as where your recordings are for your actual settings. So make sure your recording path is set to wherever you want. For me, I've set it to raw videos. But now that you've done that, what you want to do is go into your replay buffer and you want to make sure to check enable replay buffer, which will give you access to the feature. Now you got access to the maximum replay time, meaning how many seconds you want to clip. So keep in mind, 300 seconds is equivalent to clipping five minutes from your stream. Clip 20 minutes, you do 1,200. And then if you want to clip just one minute, you can do uh, 60 seconds. Then the maximum RAM this is actually going to use. Now this is going to use the memory in your side of your PC, not the video memory for your GPU. But a big thing to keep in mind though, if you do plan to clip a lot of stuff, uh, it might actually take a lot more video memory. So just keep in mind, how much you actually use if you want to actually use six gigabytes of ram that's what 6144 uh, megabytes now if you do plan the clip actually 60 seconds to 30 seconds of actual footage you really won't need that much memory the default is like was it 512 megabytes of memory which is more than enough now if you do plan the clip like 20 to 30 minutes of actual footage from your stream you will need to increase the amount of ram you actually use so a great example here is me i want to clip well, actually 1200 seconds which is equivalent to 20 minutes of footage but you will need to increase their memory. Switch it actually to 16,384 megabytes of memory, which equivalent to 16 gigabytes. So you wanna copy these exact settings if you wanna clip a lot of footage. Now, once you enter the settings, you wanna actually use the replay buffer, the clip, you can actually just click apply, but we're not gonna click okay just of yet because what we wanna do is actually set up a hotkey. So that way, when we actually start actually doing a replay buffer, we can clip stuff. We wanna find save replay, which right here, you can see I have my backslash, but you can make this whatever you want. And what this is gonna do is you hit that, that key on your keyboard, it's gonna clip the footage from your actual OBS from your stream. Another thing is back in general settings, I would recommend having your actual replay buffer automatically start. So you can see here in our output settings, there's an automatically start replay buffer while streaming. Definitely check this and apply this. Now, if you want to take the replay buffer and actually do more stuff with it, you can actually use the ATIM plugin. So what this will allow you to do is use your normal OBS settings replay buffer to clip 20 minutes or how many minutes you like. And have a second replay buffer going on in the background to clip something else. So for me personally, how I use this is to clip normal 20 minutes with the normal replay buffer. Of the 8th plugin for backtrack, I can clip up to five minutes, which is really nice if I want to get a shorter clip or bigger clip, depending on the situation. So what you're going to need to do is download the 8 vertical plugin. I will have a link to a video on below on how to go over all the settings. I want to go over the main settings that you will need to do. So we're going to go to the gear icon right here, and then we want to make sure our general resolution is switched to whatever we want it to be. So I'm actually having it as 1920 by 1080 for landscape for my stream. And after that, I want to make sure the backtrack feature is actually enabled to start backtrack when recording or actually streaming. Then I'm going to set the length of it. So for me, I want to clip five minutes. So I'm going to set 300 seconds. And then the backtrack actual recording path is going to be raw videos like I have for my normal backtrack recording. The other thing you will need to do is set up a hotkey. So make sure to set up your whatever you want. For me, I'm going to use the back. Now you want to go to the actual recording settings in itself. Now you can just set it to use the main OBS settings. Me personally, I actually have it set to use actually a different recording settings altogether since I don't plan to actually clip like anything too insane with it. 
So now we want to test our replay buffer. All we have to do is click start replay buffer. And if you do start streaming, it will automatically start with it. So now let's say hypothetical, we wait a few seconds and then we click the button we set for our hard key, which I have it set on my stream deck. So I can just push a button on my stream deck for the key. It will actually clip the footage for what you saw there. And now we go to our raw videos for our stream or for a recording. You'll see the replay buffer we just have here, which is exactly what we just clipped, which is awesome. But that's how you use OBS Studio to clip your footage from your stream so that you can use for YouTube videos and YouTube shorts. If you guys did find this video helpful here today, make sure to smash like button and get subscribed to some future tech content. I'll see you in one tech rant out.